Hello and welcome to the Stretford Paddock match against De La Salle, our third league match of the season. I'm Ethan James and I'll be commentating for you today as we look forward to this one. So, so far, how's the season gone? Well, the first game we drew 3-3 with Moston Brook, a good comeback to get a point. And then we beat North Walkton 6-2 in an emphatic victory. So let's hope for today we can keep on that unbeaten run and try and get three points. We'll hear now from the manager, Stephen Housen. North Walton game, I'll be honest with you, I was worried about us against North Walton and you fucking impressed the life out of me. Not just with the fight, with the composure, with the confidence and the way that you backed each other up. All we got to do is replicate that today, lads. Like I said, last week, don't allow that to be a blip. That was the setting of a new fucking standard that we do not drop beyond. If you play like that again today, and surely you take the confidence knowing that. I'm not saying, hey lads, can you do something I've never seen you do? I'm saying, lads, can you just do what you did last time? That's all you've got to do. It's within all of you. Go out there and fucking absolutely... Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. So let's have a look at how Stretford Paddock will line up today. It's going to be a 4-3-3 formation, something Stretford Paddock are very familiar with. Handley starts in goal with Hobson, Sinclair, Fullwood and Burke making up the back four. Waters captains the team in midfield and he is alongside Adewale and Zekoff who makes his debut today and it's a front three of Smith, Jones and Molloy. De La Salle wearing white tops and orange shorts and Stretford Paddock in red jerseys and white shorts. It's the first home match of the season for Stretford Paddock today in the Lancashire and Cheshire Premier League. As Malloy looks to get a chance down the right side, he's floated towards the back post and Jones heads it wide. Early opportunity for Stretford Paddock. As Malloy bursts down this right side, dancing past the Dillacelle, number five, and is crossed towards the back post, is headed wide by Jones. Only a couple of yards out. If he got that on target, it would have been one nil. As Paddock come again, this time on the left side, strike, and it's a block, but it's a block using the hand, and it's a penalty to Stretford Paddock. The Dillasell man threw himself in front of the shot, and his arm is up and high, and it's a definite penalty. And Stretford Paddock have an opportunity to take the lead. Yes, Malloy strikes, and it's saved. Great save by the Dillasell goalkeeper. With his leg, I think. As Malloy chooses to go low and to the right side, but the goalkeeper guessed right. Malloy may be disappointed with the penalty. Not too much into the corner and not too hardly hit. As De La Salle now pumped the ball into the box and it's headed up. Still in the area here. As it falls to the left side, strike and blocked. Paddock with an opportunity to break. And there's a chance here, but the referee's flagged. It's flagged for offside and it looks a tight one. Jones not happy one bit. As the ball floated over the top by Omar Sinclair, Sinclair and he's definitely onside. Jones is onside and there was a big chance there for Paddock to go one on one with the goalkeeper. And it's a poor decision by the referee. It's a chance from Zekoff, saved. Zekoff looking for his debut goal there as he found himself in a bit of space on the edge of the box, left footed strike, and the goalkeeper dives to save. It looked pretty central, but it was a good save by the goalkeeper. Just get anything on it really, and he's done the job. But yeah, Zekov making his debut today. He's had a good start so far in the middle of the park. Has Paddock come again on this left side? Here's Zekov again, putting the ball down the left side. An opportunity for Paddock to put the ball in the box here, perhaps. But Zekov's continued his run. Here's Zekov, that's it in the penalty area! 1 0 Stretford Paddock! And it's Stanislav Zekov on his Stretford Paddock debut, who puts the hosts ahead. A fantastic strike with his left foot into the bottom right corner. 
The De La Salle goalkeeper's had a good game so far, but there's nothing he could do about that one. Sekov started the move with the ball into the left side. He continued his run into the box, and he danced his way in and found a left-footed strike. Bang! Into the bottom right corner. Nothing the goalkeeper can do. 1-0, Stratford Paddock. And it's a good goal before the break. And if Paddock can try and get a second here, we will have the game very much in their hands and in control. As Zekov comes again, ball into the box. Maybe a cross come shot actually. Does it confuse the goalkeeper a little bit, a little bit worried. But De La Salle get away with it and they come again here on the left side. Dances past his man, opportunity straight down the goalkeeper's throat. Easy for Handley that one. But the defenders of Paddock on this right side were caught out there. And it's easily for Handley to handle. Ball on the left side blocked and the referee puts his whistle to his lips. And that's half time. Strip for Paddock, 1-0 to the good. It could have been two. Molloy had his penalty saved, but a debut goal by Stanislav Zekov has put the host 1-0 up here. Work rate there, yeah. One thing now we're gonna I wanna see us go a bit more two touch, keep it more simple, yeah. We're playing through them fine, we're going over the top fine. Let's settle with it now and get control of it, yeah. Work as hard as we can out of possession, make it easier for yourselves in possession, yeah. Simplify it. Really, really simplify it. Midfield, yeah, he's done a good job so far. Yeah. We need more options, don't we? This is the next point. This is the next point. As we're building through it. We want to have more options in front, more runs, not just running away from it, but some into feet as well. Play simple, make decisions faster. Yeah. Stan, Cam, when you two get the ball and turn in the centre of the pitch, I want you to look for him to hold it. So I want Tom to come off the line, hold it and turn. You should have two options, and that should be Will and that should be Kieran blasting into the the, uh, the wide areas. A 4-4-2 out of possession is fucking got me wooded up. It's fucking sensational. We are not really conceding any sort of chances whatsoever. We've had a couple of lucky ones. But out of shape, out of possession, the shape's really fucking good. All we've got to do is not get complacent and continue to work. In possession, in the week we worked on going, uh, the three midfielders trying to get a one-touch little triangle on the go. We've been a bit too far for that to happen. Come close, get close to each other so you can try and get there in a one in a one off or at worst a two touch. And then what we're looking for is trying to get Tom, who's gonna come in at the tip of the diamond. And then as he turns, Stan, Cam, you two look to get in beyond him, and uh, wingers we're gonna look to try and drag them as well. If you're all in the same line and it goes behind you, you fucked it. So if one go front post, one just sit off near the penalty spot. You don't all need to bomb onto the line to get it. Can I just say something quickly? Go on. Can I go down central? The amount of balls what I could have got in behind. Go central yes. for a yeah, bit. Is it, is it, I, 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 trust me, I'll catch them balls. Yeah, all I want from you is to make sure you cover your wing back. I don't give a fuck where you're running, as long as you're running when we go forward. Because the movement, the work rate is what's winning this game for us. I want another goal in the first five minutes. Because yeah. these what will fucking Kick. die. There you go. You've heard the tactics. Stephen House and then Pete Burns doing that team talk. Uh, Stretford Paddock will get this second half underway. Let's see if the tactics at half time can help increase this lead. 1 0 to the good at the minute. A very good half, and like we said before, could have maybe been two if that Molloy penalty went in. Is Zekov ball down the right side? Opportunity goalkeeper comes out. Only half saved, still alive and cleared. Cleared into the goalkeeper's arms, but it was a good move again. Zekov pulling the strings down the middle, and the opportunity on the right side was dealt well by the goalkeeper. And then the second opportunity, Burke couldn't quite squeeze it in, but nearly an opportunity for a second. Zekov. Again, he's trying to put the ball forward, play those three balls to the Stretford Paddock front line. But Dillasal have an opportunity here. Marching forward into the box, and it's a goal. 
One one, De La Salle equalised. It's a good strike from the edge of the box. And it looked like Handley maybe got a hand to it, but the power was good from a De La Salle number seven. Four Paddock players around the man though, maybe one of them could have closed him down. And that's maybe what Handley will argue, that his defenders could have defended that a bit better. But it was a good strike from the number seven. One one here. As De La Salle come again, Zekoff intercepts. De La Salle win it back though. As the defender dilly dallies on the ball here, is an opportunity for the paddock number 11, Josh Smith, who shot, shoots from range. But it's saved by the goalkeeper. He did well to read the play here, Josh Smith. Defender got caught on it. And a little flick through the defender's leg here to bear down on goal and maybe shot a bit early but he had a, did have another man closing him down and it was easy for the goalkeeper to deal with he's had a good day today the De La Salle goalkeeper so nothing to trouble him too much there and De La Salle pumped the ball into the box and it's caught by Handley good goalkeeping always helpful when your goalkeeper can take control of the box and it's a good kick as well as Tom Jones has an opportunity on this left side. Dancing into the box. He's put his defender down. But again, the strike wasn't really a strike. Didn't go near the goal. And De La Salle have an opportunity to go. De La Salle score late on here. 87 minutes in. And it's come from nothing. It's a real shame for Stretford Paddock. Across into the back post from the corner. And he's unmarked. And the header's planted past Handley. Nothing the goalkeeper could do. And that's heartbreak later on for Stratford Paddock. We're into the 90th minute. And Paddock really needs to try and win the ball back to keep this game alive. But the referee's given a decision against him. And that's more time on the clock against Paddock. And the strike from the free kick. Oh, it's a good one. It's a really good one. 3-1 De La Salle. Oh, they've won it. It's the late, late show by De La Salle. And they've wrapped it up here with two set pieces. The free kick here from quite a distance out. Bent round the wall and the goalkeeper Handley was caught off guard. He was on the other side of his goal, not properly set. And it's maybe hit off the post and back off the goalkeeper and in. Could go down as an own goal here. But it's really hard in Stratford Paddock. It's not a 3-1 game. But it's a tough pill to swallow as Paddock try and engineer something down the middle of the park. But it, it doesn't count for anything. Full time here and it's De La Salle who take the victory late on. Two set pieces, two very good set pieces in truth. And that can decide it at this level sometimes if your set piece takers are on form. And that's exactly what's happened today. So let's have a look at the Lancashire and Cheshire Premier Division table. Stratford Paddock are in sixth position. They've tasted all three results of a win, draw, and a loss so far. Uh, today was definitely the low point of the season so far. Uh, De La Salle move up to second place. They've won all three of their matches, and they continue their great streak. And we'll hear now from the manager, Stephen Housen, for his thoughts of the match. Very disappointed. I thought, um, cliche time, game of two halves. But in the first half, it was uh, very much in control of the game. It was going how we wanted it. We were playing how we wanted. We were creating chances. We were limiting chances. Um, opportunity from the spot, just got to do better. Because um, we could have come in at 2-0. And I think at 2-0, that might have been a bit too much for them, mentally, to come back on. When it's a goal, you've still got a chance, haven't you? Um, with poor forward at the end and ended up, tipping the scoreline a little bit heavier than I think it was anywhere close to deserved. There was a time I was thinking, I haven't seen Ethan make a save. Second half he did, first half, might as well have traffic cone in there, there was no need for him. We didn't do what we'd planned to do. I thought, first half I thought our out of, um, out of possession shape was perfect. We, we limited them, we forced them around the outside. They, was, they had a couple of long shots. There was, you know, there was nothing worrying us in the slightest. 
in the second half, we, I mean, we were forced to make, I think we had four people play left wing, trying to figure out, you know, someone to change Josh. We, we put Mo on. Mo's coming back from an injury. He re-injures he re himself within a couple of minutes of being on. We need to put Will on. Will picks up an injury. We have to stick Oatsy on. Like, you know, we, we've just had uh, a ton of disruption in the game that, in all honesty, shouldn't affect the result, but it might have affected the rhythm a little bit. Um, during the week, we worked on playing through the middle uh, and having a, a very tight midfield free to play the ball through. I think we did it maybe once or twice. So that is a disappointing thing. Um, we are not far off our best 11 and, and, a, and a poor result. So not, not happy in the slightest.